regional minister, Mr. Simon Osei-Mensah, was accompanied on his tour by municipal chief executives for Asante Achim Central and Asante Achim South, and the district chief executive for Busunchi, officials from the departments of Urban Roads and the Ashanti Regional Coordinating Council. He visited the Ryder Iron and Steel Company at Odumasi in the Asante Achim Central Municipality, which is under the government's One District, One Factory program. This is its second production unit set up after the Tema unit to produce and distribute steel products for West Africa and beyond. The regional minister also visited Zingyan, a cement company at Bonfa Junction near Konongo, which is also under the One District, One Factory program. Known as Safe Cement, it gained popularity in 2018. It is the largest cement plant in the Ashanti region with an annual output of more than 1.5 million tons. A concern raised by the manager of Safe Cement, Mr. Kandalien, was a low voltage situation in the area which is negatively affecting production and appealed for a speedy intervention. Mr. Se Mensa also inspected construction works on the first phase of the Lake Road project. The minister was informed by the chief engineer of Coffee Job Limited, a local construction company, Mr. Isaac Edu Amwa, that the first phase of the 1.3-kilometer road is 90% complete. The company is also working on the extension of the storm drain from the Hinsan Bridge to a stretch of about 2.5 kilometers towards Kasi and the Bulk Oil Storage and Transportation Company, also known as BOST. Upon completion of the storm drain works, it is expected to possibly end the perennial flooding, which leads to loss of lives and property. Mr. Semensan was impressed with the progress of work on the various projects. He said, no country has ever attained sustainable development by depending on aid and not putting in efforts to improve on domestic tax revenue mobilization. The financial position that we have in this country currently is said that we cannot go on borrowing. So we should accept and pay this e-level.